Hey everyone! So it's been at least 40 sets, and we're still here, as it comes to most of us when it comes to Tarkov. A very highly addictive game, with a great potential ahead of it. So if you ask, is the game worth it? Then for sure it is, but I'll get to that at the end. So back to Battlestate Games. Escape from Tarkov. So, EFT has come a long way from its beginning, where waiting times range from 7 to 15 minutes depending on your log. Spawning on top of other scav players was a norm, where the fastest person to react was the winner, to a well poorly balanced item pool and pricing. Now to its current state, being version 5.4 as of this video, where the game economy has finally come to some sort of form, as pricing, item distribution and quests finally do make sense and further enhance the feeling of progression. Nikita did a great job at creating the main mechanics, and I'm sure other studios are already in development of freemium versions of such a game. But when it comes to Battlestate games, I do have a few points that do worry me a bit. Some bugs, fixed by previous patches, reappear again in new versions. Could it be that the developers are working on separate branches and forget to commit the changes to the latest one? One example could be the used medical items, which can still be sold at full price. Or some changes are made in runtime and rolled back a few moments later, due to undesired game effects. An example of this is the awesome 99% discount, finding out that it completely breaks the game mechanics such as insuring and buying items causing a massive drop in players. Nor did the 50% help so much. Is it that the total scope of such changes haven't been properly thought out? Is it that some patch fixes are announced containing supposable fixes, or several attempts of such fixes, such as the network code optimizations and sounds, that are still plagued till today? Is it that the programmers do not have a true understanding about the Unity engine, or the complex logic of the whole game that may affect various conditions that they have set? It's truly hard to say. Is it that on new releases, new bugs are encountered that would have been picked up by any standard internal tester? but yet make their way to the final release, such as reload, ammo quantity doesn't update, as well as in-game armor points rarely match up armor points when you get back to your character screen. Or is it that the quests feel dry and disconnected from the world of Tarkov, and all quests are a choice, either drop an item in an area, get to a location, a kill counter, or find X amount of items? So far I see a studio lacking expertise in structure and final vision, and maybe a proper game designer slash decision maker, as it's very impulsive on its changes. Nearly most progress has been made from trial and error, and yet very little from actual design. From the moment their first closed alpha, or open beta was released, or whatever they might call it. Though it should clearly be an alpha stage, as the main game features have still not been implemented. I'm not sure, but I feel a sense of slight uncertainty from the general vision of Nikita. I feel there will be plenty more trial and error as they go along their journey, as it has been thus far. Not having a clear vision of the effects of new mechanics, an idea of all of the outcomes does come at a price. So what do I think about Escape from Tarkov? I think the game is awesome, well worth the $140 for the limited edition. Or even well worth your $40. Bucks. Is it a pay to win? Nope you can kill a person with a spoon, if you know what you're doing with it. It's clearly visible you never played the game at all, or I haven't played it long enough, if you truly think otherwise. Now, how do I value a game? Well, I usually value my game based on the cost of a movie. A movie's around $10 for two hours of entertainment, give or take. But let's say that's it. So, at $140, did it entertain me for 28 hours? Well, a hell of a lot more than that. That's for sure. So that's why I say it's very well, well worth it. Did the $40 give you at least 8 hours of gameplay? If so, I think it paid for itself. So even if the game doesn't complete, which I don't think it will, it still got my money's worth, and I'm sure most of the inhabitants of Tarkov also did. Will Battlestate games actually improve on its mistakes as they move on? Hard to say. So far there are drastic improvements, but not in the most desirable approach. So what are your thoughts on Escape from Tarkov? Let me know below. Holy shit, Silence Runner. Got him! Holy shit, Silence Runner. Got him! <laughs> 